Hi Rajeshwar. Hello. This is Lakshmi here. Hello. Uh, uh, I want to know uh, what is meant by automate the report. What is the process? Uh, what is meant by automate? So we will develop the dashboards and we will uh, keep it in server for sharing the users or customers, right? So automate. What is what is meant by automate? So it will be like uh, it has to done regularly. The, uh, how we will do that? I'm still don't get this question. Automate. What do you yeah. mean by automate? Yeah, I faced in one of my interview. So just Anyone I want to. Anyone has any idea what does this automate means? Maybe it's related to dashboards. Uh, it has to be I. What I thought is like uh, uh, without manual. Uh, Help it, it has to be regularly happen. That is, is that how it Did he ask it? No, no, that is how it happens. Once you build a dashboard and you publish it, it will okay. without any manual intervention, it will be working. The refresh and everything, it will be they will be working without any manual intervention. Okay. So but basically um, so once the uh, dashboards went onto the server, right, it refreshes automatically. So depending on the server, you can keep an automation like, uh, for example, like right, season 11 of directors and all. So they don't want to log in each and every time and they don't see the reports. Instead of that, you can automate the reports, sending them via email directly. You can keep the threshold until, okay, this, uh, you know, red flags recent, uh, until this threshold. So that report will be generated to them in form of like PDF or something like that. You are looking for that, Achmi? Um, maybe this is what. So, uh, but the is it will that, happen automatically, right? Is it that we called? The timing. Sorry, sir. Is it that called subscription? Correct. So yeah. You need to subscribe to the reports. Yeah. So basically, uh, to the bigger level of directors, right? Like uh, people who are uh, like uh, manager level of, they don't want to log in each and every time and see. Instead of that, uh, you know, you can build a report uh, by keeping a particular threshold. And, you know, once that threshold is crossed to that level, uh, you can just send them the report uh, like how they want. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And see, if if my data has to be updated, means every time we will, uh, if if we take extract, means there we will go incremental refresh or uh, full refresh based on our requirement. Suppose uh, in that server, I found like uh, uh, we have to schedule the uh, time at what time we need to refresh the data. But if my if my data is uh, there, I have seen every fifteen minutes options and every day whatever day wise. But suppose my data is uh, from the server side, it is refreshing every uh, five minutes or ten minutes like that. So if I want to refresh that type of data, how can we do that thing in Tableau? Well, you need to write a Python script stating that yes. uh, you know once the refresh is available in the backend, so. Yeah. You cannot automate that one, right? So you have the data that is available in the backend. So you need to write a Python script that connects your backend table. So once the backend table sends that Py, some logic is there, okay, to uh, to tap the server. So it recognizes, okay, the data that is available in the backend, uh, it recognizes the time. So how can you tell, like, you know, it should I, be some timestamp, right? Uh, like, let's say, for example, flag, now it is like a flag flag or a timestamp. Maybe yeah, 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 she needs to set up some uh, you know, Python script or something like that. See, Where, see in the calculation field itself, I have to write? No, it's a no. different uh, one. Okay, you cannot oh. write a Python script in tab to desktop. Okay, it needs to be written on server. Oh. Or else, uh, you think, I think there is one more option, I'm not sure. Previously, I've done this one. Uh, in the command prompt, you can do this. Tab CM. Tab CM. Yeah. yeah. So see, uh, when we are talking about refreshing, the minimum gap between two scheduled refreshes is 15 minutes. Below that, we can. 
so as he said if you need if it is see there are two points here if it is refreshing in every five minutes then okay. the time that is taking to load the data into your dashboard when you are creating an extract that also matters if it is re refreshing every five minutes but to load the data is uh, to load the data into your extract it is taking 15 minutes then one operation is overlapping the other right? the data is refreshing every 15 minutes five minutes but to bring that data it is taking you 15 minutes now in that case it is better to go for a live connection if you want to see such a fresh data because once it is refreshing in five minutes that data when it is coming into server it is taking 15 minutes so by the time this data is refreshing there are two two sets of refreshes that are missing missed in your database right so when you want to do that scripting batch scripting or anything if you want to do that and even if you want to bring the data you need to be sure that before the next data refresh comes the earlier the earlier data which is which has arrived freshly should be pumped into your data extract only then that that makes sense you got okay. my point right okay yeah yeah i got it yeah okay yeah. Okay, thank you.